phylogenetic tree. Guys, I really need more time on this. What is a phylogenetic tree? It's a schematic form that shows the evolutionary relationship within a set of organisms, groups of organisms. It could be a set of organisms or groups of organisms. So it shows where you really came from until where you are now. Not you just need to understand how to apply this phylogenetic tree. You don't need to memorize what is on the phylogenetic tree. No, you just need to, how it operates. That's it. You don't need to cram anything. Okay, let's try to interpret phylogenetic tree. Sample number one. This is we count from zero. We don't count from this side. Uh -uh. And then we count from this side going down once. Yes. But this 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 tree starts from this side going this side. So we are saying that uh, Australopithecus afarensis originated between five around, uh, so I can't say 5.5 .5 because 5.5 .5 is this side. So it's, this is four, 4.5 and then five, 5.5 .5, then six because zero is this side. So we are saying that um, maybe around 4.8 here, originated around 4.8, yes. And then this Australopithecus afarensis gave to Homo habilis and also gave to chimps, yes. The Homo habilis gave to Australopithecus a robustus. All right, Homo habilis gave rise to um, to Homo erectus, the, uh, the, the, the the upright walking man, and then uh, Australopithecus uh, robustus. And then Homo erectus gave rise to Homo sapiens. So now we can say that's how we can interpret it. But we uh, we have a lot of questions, a lot of questions here. Which one is the common ancestor of all these species? I will say it is Australopithecus. Uh, appearances and ask. Okay, let's go to another phylogenetic tree and then try to interpret it. Here, zero is this side now and is on top. And then one, two, three, four. Yes, so these are a million years ago. And then, then it means that uh, in this case, they can ask you how many genera are here? One, Australopithecus one, Homo two, um, Kenya, Theropus three, and then this Australopithecus, all oh, these are Australopithecus, three, oh, this is Homo, so they are, it's one, two, and then three. So there are three, all of these ones, there are three genera, three genera. Genus is one, the first name. As long as it is repeating, then it's, it means that you have counted that one. How many species? Species a lot. All of them, they are species. So you can count them that. Sapiens, one, Neanderthalensis is two, Agasta, four, Habilis, five. So you can count them, né? you can count them. So the second name, Robustus. So uh, basically that's it. And then you can ask you another question. Uh, which, 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 which species uh, competed with the resources with um, Homo sapiens? You, you draw a line. You find out that Homo Neanderthals, it was there. Uh, you find this one, this one was there. If you draw a line, I think even this one touches. So it competed the resources with that. If you look at this one, which one competed the resources with Homo habilis? I draw a line touching here and I draw a line touching here and then on top, so I can count. So how many how many million years uh, did the Homo habilis exist? So I count from here up to here. From here I draw a line to this, and then I draw a line to this, and then I find a difference. From here to here, and then from here to here. So from here, it may be 2.5, and then here, 1.5. So I will say 2.5 minus, minus 1.5. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be one million years. So how many million years ago did the um, Homo habilis um, extinct? Uh, so I will say that Homo habilis extinct, because I'm going this side, eh? extinction, I'm going this side. So I'll draw extinct. It started from here, it's extinct from here. So I draw a line going up, maybe it is 1.5. So I'll say 1.5 million years ago. If it is they're talking about extinction, you have to tell, tell, tell us million years ago. Time of uh, living, million years, million years. If it is extinction or existed, when did it exist? So it tell us million years ago. When did it exist? I draw a line touching the this, 2.5 million years ago. How long did it exist? I find where it started and where it ended, I find the difference. 2.5 minus 1.5 gives me 1 million years. So basically that's it. And then if you look at this one, is also another uh, phylogenetic tree. 
Okay, I'll come back with that. All right, another phylogeny tree. In this one, we start from here on top, going downwards. You see, we have different phylogeny tree. So, guys, it should not confuse you. It should not confuse you. So, it means that this is the um, Saranthropus uh, tacadensis is the, 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 the origin. So, no, it's not origin. Origin is here. It gave rise to this and then this. So, it gave rise to this. And then this one gave rise to this, this, and also this. So this, how many genera are here? I'll find out. One, two, three, Adipithecus, three is still three. Uh, Osteropithecus, four. Uh, Paranthropus, five. And then Homo, six. There are six genera. Which, which um, organisms uh, existed at the same time as uh, Paranthropus boise? So I draw a line because now the, this scale is this side. I draw a line touching the scale. I draw a line touching the scale. So I find out that is this, uh, and then even here, this side. So whatever cover is covered, then it means that even if it's just a part which is covered, then it means that that organism is also involved. Then lastly, this one uh, is trying to show you uh, the, 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 what happened to the brain, what happened to the tools, and what happened to the, to the skulls. So uh, it's just a combination of everything. So now they're saying that um, you have uh, Adipithecus remidas here. It means that you still have some other there. Here we don't know. It means that there is a missing link there. And then there's Osteopithecus anamensis. So it gave rise. This is the period it existed. So the bash shows the period it existed. Which one existed the, the, the longest period? You'll find out that Paranthropus boise. Yeah, they existed for the longest time. Existed for the longest time. Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, and Paranthropus boise. Which ancestor is for Homo erectus and Paranthropus uh, boise? So I'll come back here like this. I go back as I also come like this. Here is an ancestor, but we do, do we know it? We don't know it. The question mark. I continue. Here is another ancestor. We don't know it. Then until we know, we reach where we know. It is as a uh, Osteopithecus afarensis. So it's the ancestor, the common ancestor of Homo erectus and the Paranthropus boise. What about um, Homo egasta, Homo egasta and the Paranthropus robustus? Homo egasta is here, so still I will go back in the same way. So you see, it, it is it goes back to the same level. Oh, what about Homo erectus and the Homo neanderthalensis? What about them? Uh, I'll go back like this. I have to continue until where I reach uh, Homo egasta. So Homo egasta is the common ancestor for Homo erectus and the, the Neanderthals. All right. Uh -huh. Now let's compare this with this. Which one first used the tools? Which one first used? We know that Homo habilis first used tools, but according to this, um what are they saying this is the oldest tools all the ones are the, the the oldest tools and then you have these ones and then uh now you have the biggest ones uh, the technology is here so they're saying that if you look at which one uh this one is started to use tools from here so i can draw a line according to this according to this yeah but anthropus um um, this one and then uh, this one also you used yeah, yeah tools nyan yes and also homo habilis you see also homo habilis also uh, used the tools so these ones the the one you draw a line touching the what the scale so that's how you can uh, interpret that then they can ask you which ancestors started to use two limbs by pedalism so you go draw a line is here started from here. Then I draw a line. It means that uh, Osteopithecus anamensis started to use uh, two limbs. Yeah, if you watch that video, it still it will show you exactly. And then just before that, they were using four limbs, um, quadrupedal. And then you have, so that's how you can interpret. Draw a line, draw a line, and then you interpret. And then uh, here are some of the questions. Let's look at the questions. Then you're saying that, uh, let's look at the question. What is the name of the diagram? Is phylogenetic tree. Uh -huh. How many genera are shown in the diagram? You count the genera. Uh, Adipithecus, that's one. Adipithecus, one. Osteopithecus, two. Uh, if you check it here. 
adipithecus 1 or sauropithecus 2, uh, homo 3, paranthropus 4. So they are four genera. That's basically that. that mm -hmm. They are saying that what is the common ancestor for Homo sapiens and Homo erectus? I think now you know how to, to find it. Homo erectus here and the Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens are here. I draw a line until they touch. Homo egaster is the common ancestor. What is the common ancestor for all species? All species. So Adipithecus ramidas. And then give two pairs of species that competed for resources. Just choose. If I choose this, I draw a line. Yes, it it competed. This one, Boise, uh, competed with uh, Robustus. Still competed with Homo habilis. Still competed with Homo egaster. Uh, you see? So you just draw a line, those two, then you find out that that is the answer. Which species first use tools? Which species first use tools? Uh, in actual sense, it's supposed to be um, Homo habilis if they are talking about Homos. But if they're not talking about Homos, then if they are saying tools, you see these are the tools, all ones, uh, then you draw a line, all these ones. You see which one first used? I think the one which first used tools is uh, this Paranthropus. Yes, uh, Paranthropus, yes. It's the one which first used tools. I think even this one, yeah. Stropithecus Africanus uh, is the one which first used tools and this also, two of them at the same time. And then they're saying, which species first walked on two limbs? Then you go to the two limbs. Bipedo is, bipedo is here, you see? Uh, bipedo is started from here. So um, it's Australopithecus anamensis. Then they're saying that uh, how many million years, Maya means million years ago, did Australopithecus africanus appeared? Australopithecus africanus, I look for Australopithecus africanus. It's here, so I start from the dark line. Yeah, so they are saying that maybe it is 2.9, 2.9, yes? It's not three, uh oh, it's not yet three. It's two, because I count from this side, 2.9, yes. Then they are saying that 2.9 million years ago, 2.9 Maya. Um, when did the Homo habilis became extinct? When did the Homo habilis became extinct? Where is Homo habilis? You look for it, Homo habilis is around here. Yeah, it ex got extinct. You draw a line. Maybe it's two, is one point because I count from this side, from top. You count from zero. It's one point, one point five. You draw a line. You must use a ruler. Eh? Just don't just estimate like me. You must use a ruler. Then they are saying that. Hey, how many? <clears throat> how many did Ostro, um, How many million years uh, did Australopithecus Africanus exist? Uh, Australopithecus africanus. I go Australopithecus africanus. I draw a line on the head. I draw a line on bottom. The bottom is 30 and then the head is around 2.5. So 3 minus 2.5 is 0, 0,5 million years. How did the brain size show uh, evolution trend? So now they are not talking about. Here they are saying that brain size, uh, you see that expansion increases. So how did it uh, show evolution and trend, increase in the evolution. So you just have to answer from your theory that increase in the brain size uh, indicates that more uh, brain cells are formed or it has more brain cells, which indicates a high intelligence. That's it. And then they're saying, give one example of a transitional fossil. Still, this one is from your theory, uh, Cediba, or Australopithecus uh, Cedibas. Also, a sediba capital a full stop sediba that's the meaning or carabo if they ask you scientific name because sometimes they ask you scientific name sometimes they ask you just the what is it then if they ask you what is it without specifying scientific name or common name just give the name or you can give the scientific name whatever what is, what is easier for you how did the, the dentition show the diary of the species the dentition the, the kind of teeth uh, if you look at um, the other primates, they, they had these canines, tough jaws. It shows, uh, it means that they were feeding on rough, tough food, yes? So that they can even, the canine can bite, yes? While uh, Homo, Homo erectus, uh, sorry, um, Homo sapiens, the dentition, uh, the, the small canines, the, even the shape of the jaws, it shows that they, were, they, they are feeding on cooked uh, food or soft food, cooked food. 
while the other ones um the one uh, like if you have the well developed kind then it means that you are feeding on a tough wrap is a raw and a tough food so the edition will show you which kind of food you are feeding uh on all right guys let's look at some of these questions now i'm going to open the 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 what now it's time for discussion eh? it's time for discussion someone saying sir don't mind all right all right guys it's time for discussion if you know that uh where you are they are making noise uh do, 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 you let me know eh? ah here's the questions i'm gonna get someone and then try to answer like three questions Aviwe, I'm saying the table below shows. Yes, let, sir. Uh -huh. let me try to interpret for you, and then we, 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 we I ask you questions, you answer. They're saying that uh, don't don't give me answers from that booklet, from that slide down. No, no, no. I want your own answer. Table below shows the evolutionary uh, evolution of cranial capacity okay. in some species. Uh, you have Sahelanthropus, you have Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, um, Neanderthals, and then uh, Sapiens. All right, they're saying the period of existence. This is the period of existence. They existed seven to six million years ago. So, and then this is the brain capacity. So you see that the brain capacity is increasing. And remember what happens if the brain capacity is increasing. You know what we, we, we try to, to discuss about. So they're saying... Give two homing genera, 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 we say that. Yo. Yeah.